We uh, just have heard very important statement of President of Uzbekistan uh, covering the issues of future development. And uh, what struck me a lot, first of all, that it's created absolutely new paradigm of the Uzbekistan development in coming 10 years. I would not limit it to the five years, as you said. I think that it's uh, beyond five years. Because, uh, first, uh, first of all, President uh, proposed to announce next year as a year of science and enlightenment. It means, first of all, to admit the fact that the first industrial revolution is unfolding in the, in the world. It means that Uzbekistan also should change this uh, very character of its development and apply science to every region, to every branch of economy. And his emphasis on education, including continuous education, this is very, very important. He, this statement, I'd like to tell you, it was very fair, open. First time the leader of the state admitted the existence of poverty in Uzbekistan. And he said that we need to address the issue of low income. And not only he, it was an appeal to do that, but at the same time, he showed how to do it through education, creating the job, supporting entrepreneurship, um, uh, uh, as, as you said, upgrading the business skill, etc. And uh, to my mind, one of the most important conclusion from this um, statement today is that uh, reformation of Uzbekistan is going to deepen and broaden and go on and on and on. Uh, the f previous three years created the foundation, basics, for the next steps. And I think that what's been said today in such spheres like privatization of banks, abolishing of Propiska, notorious uh, legacy of the Soviet past, or uh, what's been said about the uh, transportation system, further privatization uh, in, in the industry and agriculture. In agriculture, he said it's time for us to stop the state order to the cotton and wheat production. This is absolutely new way of running the state. That's why I'm completely sure that this statement opens up new horizon for Uzbekistan development and uh, it's very convincing. It demonstrates the vision of President and I'm sure that all together, Parliament, Government, being supported by the civil society, by the whole uh, Uzbek people, will achieve the goals defined today.